The world watched with bated breath. China's Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, or SMIC, achieved a technological feat. They produced 5 nanometer chips without the highly advanced EUV lithography machines. This was thought impossible. It was a testament to human ingenuity and a nation's determination. The geopolitical landscape of technology was instantly altered. The semiconductor industry relies on extremely precise tools. These tools are used to etch transistors onto silicon wafers. Smaller transistors mean more powerful and efficient chips. EUV lithography was considered essential for producing chips at the 5 nanometer node and beyond. However, SMIC, faced with restrictions, turned adversity into opportunity. SMIC's breakthrough sent ripples through the tech world. It was a clear signal that China was willing and able to innovate its way around restrictions. This development had profound implications for global tech competitiveness. It challenged the long-held assumption that the US and its allies held a monopoly on advanced chip making. The achievement was not merely a technical one, it was a powerful symbol of China's ambition to achieve technological self-sufficiency. This ambition is deeply intertwined with the country's economic and geopolitical aspirations. It is a key facet of the Made in China 2025 plan. This plan aims to transform China from a manufacturing giant into a global technology powerhouse. SMIC's path to 5 nanometer fabrication was fraught with challenges. The most significant hurdle was the U.S. government's trade restrictions. These restrictions barred SMIC from acquiring Dutch firm ASML's EUV lithography machines. These machines are the gold standard in chip manufacturing. The U.S. government argued that these machines could be used for military purposes. These restrictions were part of a broader trade war between the United States and China. This war was fueled by concerns about China's technological rise and its implications for global power dynamics. The restrictions were designed to stifle China's progress in advanced technologies like AI and 5G, where semiconductors play a crucial role. Undeterred, SMIC's engineers embarked on an ambitious project. They aimed to achieve 5 nanometer production using deep ultraviolet DUV, lithography. DUV is an older and less precise technology. Many industry experts believed it was incapable of producing chips with the density and efficiency of those made using EUV. SMIC's success with DUV defied expectations. It demonstrated the company's technical prowess and its determination to overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles. This breakthrough underlined the resilience of Chinese tech companies in the face of adversity. It signaled a potential shift in the global semiconductor landscape. One of the most immediate potential beneficiaries of SMIC's breakthrough was Huawei Technologies. Huawei, a Chinese telecommunications giant, had been hit hard by U.S. sanctions. These sanctions cut off its access to essential components, including high-end chips. Huawei found itself struggling to produce its flagship smartphones and other devices. SMIC's ability to produce 5 nanometer chips domestically offered Huawei a potential lifeline. It presented the possibility of reducing Huawei's reliance on foreign chip makers. This could allow Huawei to regain some of the ground it had lost in the smartphone market and other key sectors. However, it remained unclear whether SMIC could produce 5 nanometer chips at the scale and cost effectiveness required to fully meet Huawei's needs. Moreover, the U.S. government could respond to SMIC's achievement by imposing even tighter restrictions, potentially targeting DUV technology. The future of Huawei and its ability to leverage SMIC's breakthrough remained uncertain. The situation highlighted the complex interplay of technology, politics, and economics in the globalized world. It also underscored the increasing importance of technological self-reliance for nations and companies alike. While SMIC's achievement was undeniably impressive, it was important to acknowledge the challenges ahead. Producing 5 nanometers chips without EUV technology came at a cost. The DUV process was more complex and time-consuming. This resulted in lower yields and higher production costs compared to EUV lithography. These higher costs could impact the competitiveness of Chinese-made chips in the global market. They could also limit the benefits for companies like Huawei, who were seeking affordable alternatives to foreign suppliers. The economic viability of SMIC's breakthrough was therefore a critical factor to consider. Furthermore, SMIC's success was likely to fuel further technological competition between China and the West. 
the U.S. government and its allies could respond by increasing investment in their own semiconductor industries. They might also implement additional measures to maintain their technological edge. The pursuit of technological sovereignty came with its own set of challenges and trade-offs. It remained to be seen how China would navigate these complexities and what the long-term implications would be for the global tech landscape. SMIC's breakthrough served as a stark reminder that the future of technology was far from predetermined. It highlighted the dynamic nature of innovation and the potential for unexpected breakthroughs to disrupt established industries and geopolitical balances. The global race for technological supremacy was entering a new and uncertain phase. China had made it clear that it had no intention of being left behind in the race for technological dominance. The country was investing heavily in research and development, nurturing its own tech giants, and seeking to become self-sufficient in critical technologies like semiconductors. The coming years would likely witness a deepening of the technological rivalry between China and the West. This rivalry would have profound implications for the global economy, international security, and the future of innovation itself. The stakes were high, and the outcome was far from certain. The story of SMIC and its 5 nanometers chips was not just about semiconductors, it was a microcosm of a larger narrative about the shifting balance of power in the technological realm. It was a tale of ambition, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of progress, a story that was still being written.